Hello everyone, Beach and Safe Food 2 back with another deck review. I've got I've always got more deck reviews coming, you know that. I'm trying to bring you deck reviews each and every day. This channel is the place to be for the biggest variety of deck reviews and the largest quantity of deck reviews. You name it, I got it. Where else would you go? But anyways, let's look at this one. This one is a pretty cool deck. Albeit a fairly standard deck. It is the six 5-4 club deck, the Sam the Bellhop deck, put out by Bill Malone. Front of the box, it says right here on the spade tip, the 6-5-4 club, you see a Bellhop on there. It says playing cards, and you also see in the background on the circle, Sam's 6-5-4 club. There is some light embossing around the edges of the spade pip on the 6-5-4 uh, club playing cards, and on these little white details. Very minor embossing, but it's a nice little touch. You know, it's a little hard to see it or notice it. It was still one of the first things I noticed. On one side, it says Ericus and Finnis, made in USA. On the other side, United States Playing Card Company, you know, it's good quality. Top says Poker. The bottom says it's distributed by Bill Malone uh, in uh, Naples, Florida, made in USA, and uh, it's the United States Playing Card Company. And in the back, so is the bat design, pretty simple. It just says the 654 Club. You got a little bill hop in each corner, and it says Sam 654 Club right around this circle. And there's also a poker chip in the center with uh, hearts and spades, top and bottom, clubs and diamonds to the sides, I believe it is. Yep. And just a standard seal, nothing on the flaps. Not sure who did the artwork. But you do get this sort of ad card that could almost be used as a third joker if you wanted to because it's more or less the same. That says visit BillMaloneMagic.com And it says a goofy cartoon image of Bill Malone making some cards appear from his mouth. And then your back design. Pretty cool, simple, but nice. Um, it's a perfect deck for magic because it's, for, as far as I can tell, it's mirror image. And it's... Simple and two-way design, so what more could you ask for? Bill Malone, if you're not familiar with him, is a fabulous card magician. Absolutely hilarious. Always fun to watch him. And he's just amazing with his hands. Your Jokers, yet they kind of look like this. It says Joker in the two corners. You see Bill Malone again pulling cards out of his mouth. On this one, it's black and white. The cards actually have indexes on them. You'll see why I'm bringing that up in a minute. And there is also right here next to his watch a little writing. It's so small that it is almost impossible to see what it says. I have no idea what it says, but it could be a little trademark thing. It could be the artist's signature. I'm guessing it is, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the other joker is the same thing, except it's in color. It doesn't have that little signature. And if you look closely at the cards, they don't have indexes in the corners. Whereas this one does, and it's not a mistake or anything like that. It looks like it was pretty intentional, but I'm not exactly sure why that would be. But outside of that, the cards are the same, and you could use some of them as like a reveal if you aren't doing a trick, especially the five more obvious ones or six more obvious ones. But anyways, that is that. Next, we get into the Ace of Spades. Pretty simple, spade dip. Just like the one in front of the box, it says a 6 by 4 club. In the center with the bell hop, and it says Sam's 6 by 4 club all around it. And it says the United States Point Card Company, made in USA, on the bottom. By the way, in case you're wondering why, this is a 6 by 4 club deck. And in case you're wondering about Sam, the bell hop. That is actually a trick that Bill Malone does using a stack. And it's basically a story that he tells about the 6 by 4 club and Sam, the bell hop. And if you don't mix up the stack when you open it up, you will automatically get that stack. All you have to do is find the three of spades. As you can see, the cards look like they're all mixed up. This is how it comes. It looks like it's all mixed up, but it's not. If you find the three of spades and cut that to the bottom, you are now ready to perform Sam the Bellhop. In case you're not familiar with the stack, I'll give it to you. Because it's 
it's out there. People have done it. I, people have done it. Uh, I know, I think this Meg has done it. There's tutorials out there. It's not the hardest thing in the world. So, you need four kings. King of hearts, king of clubs, king of diamonds, king of spades. Starting from the top, king of hearts on top. Then you need queen of clubs, queen of spades, queen of hearts, queen of diamonds, six of hearts, five of clubs, and four of diamonds. And if I'm going too fast, I apologize. But you can always pause and rewind if you need to. And that's that. Uh, also, I just wanted to mention that this, I mean, for all of you who might complain and say I'm giving something away here, it comes in the deck. You don't, it's, it's given away already. But anyways, uh, then you get the two of spades, jack of hearts, jack of clubs, the jack of diamonds, and you guessed it, the jack of spades. Followed by six of clubs, five of diamonds, four of hearts, six, five, four, two of diamonds, ten of hearts, ten of clubs, ten of diamonds, and you guessed it, ten of spades. Next, two of clubs, three of hearts, eight of hearts, three of clubs, nine of hearts, the ace of spades, three of diamonds, two of hearts, nine of clubs, eight of spades, six of diamonds, yes to the five, five of hearts, and yes of four, the four of clubs, seven of hearts, seven of clubs, and this one's seven of diamonds. Then we get the eight of diamonds, eight of clubs, the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs, ace of diamonds, nine of spades, nine of diamonds, and then you get the seven of spades, six of spades, five of spades, four of spades, and the three of spades. That is the entire stack with that. You can do his trick. Uh, if you've never seen a performance of it, just search it on YouTube. You'll find it. I think I might have done one as well at some point in time. Probably not that well. Um, outside of that, it is a... I mixed it up now, so I'm not going to do it for you. Huh. Because I don't remember it anyways, how exactly it goes. But anyways, moving along with the review, it is a bicycle stock. Air cushion finish, good quality. Handles good. Looks pretty cool, even though it's fairly standard. Uh, in case you didn't notice, all the number cards are standard and the court cards are standard. I'm not disappointed by that exactly. Um, that was actually what I expected when I saw this deck. I saw the Jokers, I saw the Ace, and then I didn't see anything else. And I figured, you know, this is a magician producing the deck to perform a trick. His own trick. He's not going to have a bunch of custom court cards in there. He's not a designer. And I'm not surprised. I wasn't expecting more, so I'm happy with it. So that, anyways, is the 654 Club Deck. And stay tuned for more reviews. By the way, you can get this at BillMalloneMagic.com. I believe that's the only place that's selling it. I haven't seen it on any Magic shops or anything, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, for other great decks, though, of course, go to CollectiblePointCards.com. Use your code VJOSA32. And you get 10% off your order. I will see you next time.